Well, obviously, we are disgusted, as uh, any sensible South African should. Um, the kind of violence that we have seen uh, in the house is unprecedented. It is uh, uh, not characteristic of uh, what how members of parliament should be conducting themselves. Uh, we are uh, we find the behaviour of the EFF deplorable, um, of uh, attacking physically and unleashing violence against uh, the staff members of parliament for merely doing their job, uh, of uh, kicking uh, women staff members uh, while they are down, uh, men of, uh, uh, in red overalls uh, kicking a innocent member of staff of parliament for merely doing what the rules of parliament uh, instruct her to do uh, when instructed to do so by the presiding officers. The kind of malicious damage to property that we have seen uh, around parliament as they were being uh, taken out. Uh, it is unprecedented. It is a kind of sins that uh, we've never seen here in parliament. And uh, we have to draw the line. Uh, we have uh, to hold uh, these hooligans accountable criminally so for the kind of criminality they have, that they have unleashed yesterday. That's why we believe that uh, Parliament should open um, criminal charges against these uh, members of Parliament for violence as well as uh, malicious damage to property. And uh, given the context of, uh, uh, in the light of uh, the damage to property elsewhere in the country that we've seen to clinics, to uh, schools, to universities, for members of parliament who are supposed to be exemplary to the rest of society to repeat and mimic the same, it is quite unfortunate, it is very troubling, mm. and really uh, something needs to be done. If uh, you behave in a manner that undermines the Speaker of the National Assembly, you are holding uh, the entire parliament to ransom and you don't want it to conduct its business and uh, you are belligerent. You, in terms of the rules, and these are the rules that have been agreed upon by all political parties, the, the, the speaker has got the authority to call the, uh, uh, the security staff of parliament to remove any disruptive member who engages in such kind of anarchy. And uh, anyone who says, and uh, this uh, uh, rather, let me say that this uh, Secretary Staff of Parliament are conducting this job with uh, the utmost respect towards these uh, members of Parliament, and with much respect and minimum um, 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 and handling as possible. Anyone who says that they should not be doing uh, what they are doing in a manner that they are doing, then has to advise us on how uh, it has to be done. Because if you are saying that I'm not going anywhere, and even before they can even remove you, you are already pelting uh, full water bottles uh, towards the security staff, uh, handling them. You are already uh, pelting helmets uh, towards them. And by the time they try to say that you must uh, get out, you are kicking them, you are punching them. How are they supposed to, uh, to do it? Because all that they need to do, and they are doing it with... Uh, maximum respect as we have seen them, is to use the techniques that uh, are uh, in their own uh, um, uh, ability yes. uh, to remove them. Yeah. Some of the members, like uh, Paulson, uh, had a bag uh, that we believe had a very um, um, hard uh, object, a heavy object inside, like mm -hmm. uh, rocks, that was used to beat up uh, the security personnel of parliament. What happened yesterday is so bad, and uh, we don't think that there should ever be any justification uh, for such kind of conduct. It is unheard of. And uh, these security personnel of parliament are also uh, fathers, they are brothers, they are children and uh, of uh, certain belonging to certain families. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is a very dangerous environment for them uh, to be confronted in their daily work with uh, such kind of violence uh, from these uh, members of the EFF.